what we are discussing uh, today is merely just a framework. Uh, there's a whole lot of other things that have, that have to happen there, negotiations that have to take place, other processes that have to take place. But uh, the, the important thing is that you are actually launching a vision about where you want to be. So yeah, it is important and we're excited that at least we've been able to put that vision into practice. The organization of sanitary the problems Sanitary that you areas. sometimes have in Africa is that you come to a particular country, you come to South Africa and you have, you know, this development that has taken place and then you go next door and things are not as good. So you, you want to create an environment in which you do not necessarily have islands of excellence, but you have an Africa in which everybody is, is developed, not perhaps to the same level, but generally you do not have the kind of differences that we are having today and we are hoping that regional integration will actually put push for a much more pro-poor development for everybody in the region. So the more you create a better infrastructure, the more you begin to create the necessary um, environment for the poor people to be able to do business. You find that people in Africa work you know, much harder perhaps than any other people in the world. Um, but the problem is that they are unable to then get their, the, the things that they grow uh, to the markets at a price where they, they can actually get value for the kind of work that they would be doing. So yes, we, we will be looking at um, issues of trade from a bigger perspective, from big investors, but you're also beginning to say, what will that trade change in terms of the day-to-day -day life for the person, for the poor woman who is in this rural area? Will she then be able to access water, for example, so she doesn't have to walk kilometers and kilometers to go and get this water because there is now good business? Will we be able to get the, the shops nearer to where she is so that she doesn't have to struggle to get salt to get water? So for ourselves, uh, regional integration is to go beyond just the big enterprises. It also has to do with with the, the poor person who is on the ground, whose life uh, would have to change. This will enable us to take advantage of opportunities. I'm optimistic. The, the very fact that you are able to put together not only countries from one region, because this meeting is not just about SADAC. It's about SADAC, it's about East Africa, it's about West Africa. Uh, that in itself, to be able to at least get people to agree on the principle is, is good enough because sometimes it's difficult to get people. I mean, look at the experience of the EU, for example. It took them many, many years, if not 100 years, to even just agree to the principle. Even now, there are some countries in Europe that have refused to join the EU. The very fact that at this very point where we are starting, you probably just only have about two countries who have not joined either of the, um, the RECs, the regional economic groupings, is an indication that at least for Africa, there is clarity at, at the principal level. We may have problems in terms of negotiating the practicalities of how we actually get there, but at a principal level, there is an agreement, and that for me is, is something we need to celebrate.